This is a demonstration of VMware vSphere utilizing a third-party custom certificate for SSL connections to the vSphere web client and VMware Certificate Authority certificates for the vSphere components like ESXi and Solutions. In the example shown, we have a vCenter server appliance with an embedded SSO server and VMware Certificate Authority, also known as VMCA. We will configure vCenter such that the external web interface is protected with a custom third-party SSL certificate, while vCenter objects like ESXi hosts and services are issued certificates via VMCA. VMware Endpoint Certificate Services, also known as VEX, stores all certificates and private keys for vCenter Server and vCenter Server Services. All management of the certificates will be done using vCenter Certificate Manager Utility. Prerequisites Configuration of Microsoft Certificate Authority with the appropriate SSL Certificate Thumbprint per KB211009 Configuration of VCSA for WinSCP login per KB2107727 Considerations Copy the SHA-1 SSL thumbprint of your vCenter prior to any changes. You may need this later for some solutions like SRM or vSphere replication in per KB2109074. Based on VMware KB2111219, we will create a signing request for the external facing vCenter web interface and present that to a third party certificate authority. The third party certificate authority will return the certificate and we will install it on the vCenter server. The certificate will be used for the external vCenter login page. All ESXi and vCenter solution certificates will continue to use VMCA issued certificates. Using the vSphere 6 certificate manager utility on vCenter, select option 1 Replace machine SSL certificate with custom certificate. We are going to generate a certificate signing request, also known as CSR, to submit the third party certificate authority. Provide the output directory path for the CSR and private key files. The certificate manager utility runs the CERT tool utility to generate the CSR and key files to be presented to the third party CA. Exit the utility and download the CSR and key files from the vCenter server. Select the machine ssl.key and machine ssl.csr files and copy them to the local system. Open the CSR file in the text editor and copy the contents. In this example, we are using a Microsoft Certificate Authority. Open the CA webpage and click on Advanced Certificate Request. Paste the contents from the text editor into the Save Request box and select the VMware 6.0 template. Click Submit to generate your certificates. Download the machine, SSL certificate and the certificate chain and rename them for clarity. Open the Certificate Authority certificate chain and export their root CA certificate. Right click on the Lab DC1 CA certificate, select All Tasks and then Export. Select Base64 encoded X.509. Upload the machine, SSL and root 64 certificates to vCenter. Save them to the same folder you are working on. Use the vSphere 6 Certificate Manager utility on vCenter or vCSA in this example to replace the machine SSL certificate with the custom certificate. Log in using the valid SSO password for administrator at vSphere.local and select option 2. At each prompt, enter the full paths for the machine SSL.CER, machine SSL.key and root64.CER files. When prompted with you are going to replace machine SSL search using custom search, continue operation, click Y and hit return. The certificate manager utility will install the new certificates and restart the services on vCenter automatically. This may take some time, approximately 1 to 5 minutes, depending on your system. A progress bar will inform you of your current status. When this is complete, you will be able to log into the vSphere web client and see that you are using the CA issued certificate. In this example, we will show that the root certificates of Microsoft CA and VMCA are in the Trusted Authority Certificate Store of the web browser. If your system is a Windows system in the same domain, the CA certificate is automatically installed in the Trusted Authority Certificate. For the VMCA certificate, follow KB2108294 for instructions on how to install the VMCA CA root certificate in your trusted authority store in your web browser. 
Here we are viewing the third party root CA certificate issued by the Microsoft CA. Note the field values for the issuer. Now we will view the root CA certificate of VMCA. Note the field values for the issuer and you will see that this is different from the Microsoft CA root certificate we just viewed. Now we will verify vCenter's external SSL certificate was issued by Microsoft Certificate Authority. View the certificate and check the issuer. You will see that this matches the third party root CA certificate we viewed earlier. Now we will verify the ESXi host's issued certificate to ensure that it is issued by VMCA. Open the web page of the ESXi host and view the certificate. Later in the demonstration we will renew the ESXi host certificate. Note that the values of SHA1 thumbprint of the certificate. This will change when we renew your values in your environment. It will be different as each certificate is unique. Verify the issuer is VMCA. It should match the same values as we reviewed earlier. We will now renew the ESXi host certificate issued by VMCA and verify that it has changed. From within the vSphere web client, right click on the host and select certificates. Select Renew Certificate. Confirm you want to renew the certificate by clicking Yes. Reload the browser and reconnect to the ESXi server. View the certificate and check its SSL thumbprint. You will see now that the SSL thumbprint has changed. This concludes the demonstration of replacing the vCenter externally facing machine SSL certificate with a third party custom certificate while retaining the use of VMCA for internal resources like ESXi hosts and vCenter solutions. Mm -hmm.